As it turns out, all of those romantic movie scenes are hot for a reason. You see, these guys weren't really acting. And on top of that, we have some smoking hot movie scenes that are going to make your jaw drop to the floor once you realize they're actually real. So, here are the 10 love scenes where actors weren't acting. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 10. Short Bus Wasn't Filmed With Body Doubles We're going to be starting off this list with a movie called Short Bus. And when you have a movie that starts with a sex scene and an explicit one at that, then you pretty much know what to expect. If you ever decide to watch the movie, just know that none of those private parts you see in the movie are prosthetics. It's all acting. Do you see the invisible quotation marks? Suki and Lee, John Cameron, Paul Dawson, and many, many others all got naked for this movie. But the craziest part was that the guy known as John Cameron Mitchell actually directed the movie, and he decided to join the last orgy scene, you know, as a way of artistic expression. Yeah, right. Keep it in your pants, you perv. And another person that didn't keep it in his pants was Robert Pattinson. So make sure you stay tuned to hear the whole story. Number 9. Margot Stilly is proud of Nine Songs Nine Songs is a love movie that came out in 2004. It was a movie about love, relationships, and a hefty chunk of SEX. After seeing the movie, a lot of Margot Stilly's fans attacked her for playing a role in such a dirty movie. But here's what she had to say as a response to all of her haters. It was a film about love and sex. It wasn't porn. I mean, I had sex with my boyfriend last night, and that wasn't porn. It was just hot sex. Nine Songs was a real film about love and sex, and I wanted to do that film, and I'm proud of it. The only thing we could add to it is smash that like button if you haven't done so already. But no, what we would actually add, you go, girl. Number 8. Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson There are way too many celebrity relationships that started off after the stars met on the set of a movie and then wanted to shoot the kissing scenes the whole time. Ah, take that. Everyone who says that actors are only kissing their co-stars professionally. Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson are no exception. But we're not here to talk about their turbulent relationships, the breakup, the time they got back together, etc. We wanted to talk about the fact that Donald Trump was preoccupied with their relationship back in 2012. You see, he sent out 11 tweets, 11 freaking tweets about how Kristen is a liar and a cheater. And how she would do it again. Dude, seriously, just chill out. We know you want publicity, but you're just embarrassing yourself. Number 7. Robert Pattinson pleasured himself Here's what we meant when we said that Robert Pattinson couldn't keep it in his pants. Back in 2008, he was playing Salvador Dali in Little Ashes, and it was there that we saw him quote-unquote pleasure himself on the set. Why did he do it? Because that way the whole movie would have been a lot more believable. Now, 11 years later, when filming The Lighthouse, we got to see him doing it again on the set. And this too was real. Are you starting to see a pattern here? And let me guess, you wanted to make the scene more believable, so that's why you did it, right? But we can't stay mad at him. Damn those smoldering hot looks. Number 6. Aubrey Plaza had one hell of a time filming the to-do list. Is it a comedy? Is it a theater-permitted adult film? We don't really know. What we do know about the to-do list is that Aubrey Plaza had to do the masturbation scene in front of a whole studio full of guys. She said so herself when she appeared on The Conan O'Brien Show, but let us explain. When she read the script, Aubrey thought that the camera would cut the scene after her hand reached her belly button. However, there was a little surprise waiting for her on the set. There was no camera in front of her, only one giant one suspended over her head. So she actually had to go all the way in order to get the full effect. The director was feeling especially pervy for this movie. Number 5. The love in love was really love. Confused? Yeah, we were too. But we suppose that's what they wanted to do. And whatever you do, don't watch this movie in 3D, especially if you're a guy, because no one wants to see the ejaculation shots with 3D glasses on. The director, Gaspar No, wanted to book Monica Bellucci and Vincent Castle, but the two actors opted out of the scene when they realized just how graphic the movie actually was. They say the director's intention wasn't to make the movie provocative, they only wanted to create a movie that would explore the intimate moments between two lovers after a breakup. Somehow, we have a hard time believing that, thanks to all of those outrageously explicit scenes. Number 4. Lie With Me was emotionally, mentally, and physically draining for Lauren. 
Let's face it, at some point in any actor's career, you have to get naked, whether physically, emotionally, or mentally. This movie offered me the chance to do all three at once. This is how Lauren Lee Smith talked about Lie With Me, the hot 2005 movie that turned the heads of everyone. And you know what? This movie lit up critics because they say the main actress, who was way too young at the time, was actually taken advantage of. If you think this is taking advantage of someone, just wait for the last pick and see how Marlon Brando is being accused of rape decades after his death. Number 3. Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt We loved them in Riverdale and we suspected they were a thing in real life. All of those cute and cuddly moments they shared during interviews made them so obvious. However, they never came out and said that they were actually dating in real life. A few months ago, Cole Sprouse posted a photo on his Instagram account claiming that he and Lily are no longer together, which actually confirmed all of the speculations that surrounded their relationships. I mean, seriously, did anyone believe the lies these two hotties tried to tell us after sharing this photo on Instagram? But I didn't tell you, Doug, and I'm so sorry. I should have told you right when it happened. I'm sorry. Number 2. Lana Condor and Noah Centineo now, we're not here to speculate, but damn, these two look cute together. And after shooting to all the boys, we got to see them being really close to one another in real life. Lana Condor is obviously flirting with Noah, which makes us think that Peter and Lara were enjoying their kisses a little too much on the set. If you still don't believe the rumors, maybe you would change your mind if we told you that Lana had a photo of her and Noah sleeping together on the set, set up as her screensaver. Can you get any more obvious than this? I love you. Number 1. The Last Tango in Paris and some butter on the side Here's why Marlon Brando actually caught the eye of the Me Too movement. The movie we're talking about is The Last Tango in Paris and the scene is the one in which Maria Schneider, who was only 19 at the time, got sexually assaulted by Brando's character, Paul. The young actress was aware that there would be a rape scene in the script. What she didn't know was that Brando's character would use butter as lube. Hold on! You mean to tell us that they didn't tell her that they decided to use butter in the rape scene until it was too late? The disgusted look you see on her face is actually real. Smell that? It sure smells like a lawsuit. On a related note, do you think Maria Schneider should sue the director and the production house? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.